it, let's do it again. Okay, go ahead. Start from the beginning again. Uh, do this door. What about it? Okay, up at the top. See that those hinges? There used to be a big door there that would lift up, and then they had like a pulley thing and with, on, with a rope, and they would pull bales bales of hay up there and put them in the barn. Yeah. Well, my uncle had a truck set in here, and the door was up. So my my cousin Joni and I we went up there. And there was about a foot ledge there, and we were up there dancing in that little little place. Well, see, Grandma told us to go get the eggs, so we set our basket of eggs down behind the truck that had the hay on it. And my my uncle Alvis backed up on our on our bucket of eggs that we got we picked up for Grandma. Oh, shucks. And we got spanked, I think, for that. Ah, oh, man. That's unfair. Seems like it, don't it? Yeah. It, it used to be white, and it was a beautiful old barn. And huh. this is what's left of it. Well, at least there's something left of it. Yeah. Yeah. And there's the house over there. Yeah. Grandpa and Grandma's house, but there used to be a porch in the front, and there used to be rooms upstairs, and it looks like they took the porch off. The porch off the front of the house and maybe some rooms off the front of the house because it was about a ten room house. Huh. And there was a back porch too and that back porch is gone. And the garage is there instead, huh? Uh, I don't remember there being a garage. There yeah. was a smokehouse out in the back. Okay. Okay, now what were you going to say about pigeons? I said there was a corn cob corn crib and there were lots of pigeons always in the corn crib. Oh, okay. That must be pigs we hear back there in the background. Sounds like pigs. Looks like pigs. They mm -hmm. didn't look like chickens. I know that. House. Yeah, they're too big to be chickens. So, yeah. I love those old barns. They're so pretty. Yeah. But this one isn't anymore, is it? Well, it was well built. It ain't, uh, it, you know, it's not been kept up, but at least it ain't. Uh, foundation's good on it yet, and the structure's pretty sound. But it is uh, must have been a, a beautiful barn. Yep. It's really big. Now this is your grandpa Marotti. Grandpa Casper Marotto. Marotto. And he married Annie Mertens. Annie Mertens. I went to school at Mertens. Did you? Yeah, probably wasn't related. Yeah. Okay. Want to take a look at the chickens? You ain't a pig. Yeah, they could be pigs. Okay. Well, let's see. What are they? Chickens or pigs? They could be chickens. They could be chickens. They run. They 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 run away like chickens. He's sleeping. Maybe he's not as uh, a scaredy cat. Nope. Oh, yep. He is. He just woke up. What's going on here? Yeah. Well. All right. All right. Uh, we're not we're not pork eaters ourselves. Yeah. So uh, you're all good. Y'all good. It's all good, folks. It's all good. Alright. And I tried to cut him too short. And, uh, right. getting tipped over and... Start over on that. You were, uh, you were, you were driving uh, horses in a wagon? Yeah, out in the field. Okay. And for some reason, unbeknownst to me, the horses started running. And I didn't... Nobody ever told me how to, I was supposed to be up there driving the horses, but I didn't know how, nobody told me how to do that, and I cut them too short, and when they turned around too short, the wagon fell over, and I fell over in the wagon, and it made a big mess, and they had to repair the wagon then. Well, did you get hurt? I don't remember getting hurt. Huh. But you won't do that again. Probably not. I tell you what, if I got a team of horses in a wagon, I don't know if I'm going to trust you. Don't. Trust okay. me with them. All right. But I'll let you drive. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I get to die with a six horse or eight horse. Right? Well, that's only a six horse. Just don't cut it short. And uh, I'll show you where the brake is. Okay. Okay. I want you to talk about that, uh, uh, you know, talk about the place, and particularly the windmill in Rosemary. Okay. This is the Kennedy place. Um, um, we moved away from here when I was six years old. Rosemary was born here. Our dog had puppies upstairs. And uh, she had five pup. I mean, she had four puppies. There were four of us kids, so we each had our own puppy. And uh, there was a windmill that's gone now. Rosemary climbed up to the top of the windmill. And Dad said, come down, Rosemary, and I will give you some candy. And when she came down, Dad gave her candy on the butt. Uh, and how old was she about? About a year and a half or two years old. Boy, it's pretty young to be climbing a windmill. Yeah. you remember that building over there, this one uh, over here? I don't remember that building. It looks like it could have been here at that time. Didn't you also have a dog that you, that uh, D Dennis... Uh, yeah, Mom gave each one of us a puppy, and Dennis put my puppy under the corn crib, under a tile that ran under the corn, corn crib. Could that corn crib be this one over here? That's not a corn crib, that's a silo. Okay, a silo, okay. I don't see the corn crib that uh, was here. Okay. Anyway, the dog... Three, three weeks later, I was out there, and I heard the dog crying, and it, and it got so skinny in that three weeks' time that my mom gave it to Charlie Peeper, my cousin, because Dennis was so mean to it. Uh, yeah, well, now there's a, looks like a, that, there's a little silo here. Do you remember that? That could have been here. No, I don't remember any of those buildings. Huh. Well, okay, and uh, this is 140th Street, I think, or, um, and uh, your your grandpa's place is uh, just down the road a little bit, about a mile from here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And what's the name of that other uh, town over here? That Huffton. Oh, Mount Hamill? Yeah, Mount Hamill, that's right. Yeah, that's... there was a grocery store there. Grandma used to send us to the grocery store, Joni and I, to the grocery store to get her a loaf of bread or something. And the, the man who ran the grocery store was George Yorkham. Okay. But now there's no grocery store in Mount Hamill. There's just... Uh, Mount Hamill Tap. Uh, Mount Hamill Tap. Yeah, uh, bar there. Okay, yeah, we just were... And Annie there. Peeper, that's Aunt... Aunt Annie was a sister to Grandma Flanders. She just lives close to Mount Hamill. Okay. We saw her house there, right? Yes, we saw her house. Okay, yeah. Very close to Mount Hamill. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, the last word here. I guess we're going to say hello again. Okay, Donna, are there any final words? Final words about what? Well, we talked about a few things. You, uh, one was uh, when uh, Casper got drunk. Okay, um, well, when we showed, we were standing by the barn and you, we saw the house in the background uh, they usually park their car right in there between the house and the barn. And one Sunday afternoon when we were visiting, um, a neighbor man came over and he had liquor in his car and he got Grandpa very staggering drunk. Well, Grandma was very opposed to drinking. Uh, Grandpa ran a saloon and the only way she would marry him would be if he would sell the saloon and become a farmer, so he did that, sold his saloon and became a farmer. So when uh, Grandma realized that uh, this man, Grandpa was sitting in the car with this man and they were drinking and, and Grandma, when Grandpa came in the house, he was staggering, so she 
picked up rocks and threw rocks at the man's car and broke all the windows in his car. And I saw him drive down the gravel road, uh, swerving from one side of the road to the other. Okay. And um, then, let's see, there was a time when you were uh, asked to get eggs and uh, pick up some, you know, put some eggs away. And what was about, that about? Um, Grandma had diabetes because she liked to eat a lot of sugar. So she got sugar diabetes. And then they cut some of the toes off on one foot. And then she went back and got the other foot cut off. And she was in a wheelchair. And uh, she asked Joni and I to go out and get eggs. J Joni was a, my cousin who was the same age as I was. And we found some eggs that were rotten uh, in the barn. And yes, that had rotten eggs in it. And so Grandma said, well, just go ahead and put them in the case anyway. So we did that. And uh, once a week, the priest would come over from the Huffman Catholic Church, and he would bring communion and hear Grandma's confession. So after the priest left that week, uh, she said, Donna, would you go in that carton and get those rotten eggs out? She repented. She repented. Okay. And there was a time when uh, you had a, uh, was it your mother's uncle that was uh, a pioneer of ethanol here in Iowa? Yeah, I think his name was. Henry Conrad. Henry Conrad, and he... Uh, my uncle on my mother's side of the family. I think he was Grandma Flanders' brother. Okay, and he was the one that developed ethanol for farmers. Right. And um, uh, anything else about that? I don't remember anything else about but that. But you got an article but about when that. When my mom died, she saved the article, and it was in her thing. So you have that article now. It's around here someplace, but yeah. I don't know where. Okay. I remember reading it. All right. Any other farewell words? Um, looks like it's going to rain. It's going to rain. Watch you wave goodbye. There you go.